using a heated hole saw to burn a hole through the bucket there's a pop rivet on the one end remember to secure your buckets with the use of a clamp as such and uh, place a piece of cotton inside the container to catch the off cut holding it with the pliers and try to apply no downward pressure let the heat do the work for you uh, keeping the, the, the cut nice and round if you apply pressure you might end up with an oval so I'm just supporting the the hole saw keeping it upright and once it goes through I'll let go there we go nice clean cut let go caught it in the cotton box on the inside There is a sprue, the offcut on the outside, obviously let it cool a little bit before you place your hands there and you just want to try and trim away, not all of it, not on the, especially not on the inside, um, on the edges that might stop the easy spot from connecting to the back plate. In a very gently sweeping type motion, I'm quite lucky this was a nice cut. Feel on the inside. No excess material. Good to go. Then I'm using the compression tool. The guidelines are on our site how to build one yourself or order it from from our store online it's the inner back plate with the wooden block which is just larger than the back plate and our M875 mil nut and bolt might be easier to pop it through without the compression tool in place yet it's not 100% secure but it's secure enough to give you some hands free time to place on the foam washer that we've supplied the square cut foam washer now on the inside, the compression tool, back plate, coming through to the top, connect with the spot, and the other wooden place, with a 13 nut, just a normal hex nut, securing it by hand until you use your 13 spanner or ratchet whichever tools you are comfortable with 